New details now in the case of a 17-year-old Stark High School basketball player who was shot and killed. The coroner says Narian Greer died from a gunshot that wound to boy's the chest. Never His death has been ruled again. a homicide. When they came back home, they found the 14-year-old dead on the ground in their backyard. The coroner's office says Royce Chapman was shot once in his abdomen. Just over a week ago, 18-year-old Kyrese Hodges was killed in East Toledo. 15-year-old Tavion Brown was shot in the chest while behind a building that in North Toledo, and he later died at the hospital. Back on March 1st, 19-year-old David Mish was shot during an ongoing feud. Another kid from the neighborhood killed and, you know, unnecessarily. We've got too many of these memorials. Okay. We've got to start building places for them to have recreation instead of putting up memorials. And what that means is community leaders, people who have packages, what we can do to help them children, we must work together. Most of us have already lived our lives. Right now we want to give the children a chance to live theirs. This memorial, it's representing Kenny's memory, another kid from the neighborhood, but we've got too many. We need to stop having to put up memorials in the neighborhood and put up structures where these children can have some recreation, whether it's baseball, basketball, tennis, soccer, lacrosse, uh, any of these sports, giving these children something to do. And I want to repeat myself, it takes a village to save our children, but it's up to us. No more of this, uh, well, I want to get the credit and somebody else wants to get a credit. We've got to get rid of this envy, uh, whatever it is, because it takes a village to raise a child. But we're going to go beyond that. It's going to take a village to save our children.